everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you something cool, a cool side dish, another cool one, something healthy too. It's going to be roasted cauliflower. If you've never roasted cauliflower, why not? Go ahead and try it. But tonight we're going to do it a really cool way. We're not going to just throw it on a cookie sheet. We are going to put it on this super cool side skewer set from muttshopproducts.com. Make sure you check them out online. Now usually you will have seen me, I've made you know, mo barbecue mole side skewers on the on the grill and stuff with chicken. And I've done a beautiful fruit display that you can check out. Make sure you check out those shows. But tonight, instead of just displaying it on this thing, this is the actual, these are the skewers. They come out like this and they come with five. But tonight I'm only doing three. We're only three of us eating how much cauliflower do you really think we need to eat. Um, but this is the display thing and they all fit in there. And I usually will show you things already displayed, already done, right? So this tonight, for the very first time, you are going to see me actually use this to cook with. This is gonna go on a cookie sheet into my oven and it's gonna roast my cauliflower just like that. All sitting away from each other, all just enjoying the heat, sunbathing in the heat, right? So to speak. So here's my gorgeous cauliflower. I'm gonna chop it up into some nice bite-sized chunks and you'll see me in two Thanks seconds. Thanks to mom for cutting up my cauliflower. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. That's Ingrid Turner. Check her out, her website out at ingridturnertoday.com. That's mom. She's the bomb. Anyhow, here's my cauliflower all chopped up, beautiful and nice. And what I tried to do is, well, mom tried to do for me, was keep it in nice chunks so they'll fit on here nicely. I want them to be substantial pieces for everyone to eat. In fact, I might even need to use more of these side skewers because we have a, quite a bit of this, okay? And that's cool with me. I don't mind some leftover roasted cauliflower for things, mommy. I like it. I'm cold. I think so too. And you know what else was, sounds good to me? Is putting that in an omelette tomorrow. Roasted cauliflower in your omelette. Have you ever had that? I want to try that. Okay, next, things next. I'm going to put some olive oil on here, okay? So we're going to put about a tablespoon and a half, just because it has lots of nooks and crannies that's going to soak up the soil. So, there we go. Next, things next. I'm going to break up some nice white cam pot peppercorns. You can use any peppercorns you want, but I'm using white ones just because it's white food and it's just kind of a cool thing to do. Plus I have them and they're tasty. These are from Cambodia. These are from campot-pepper.asia. Should be at the bottom of your screen right now. And they're super tasty. So these white cam pot peppercorns, they're going to be extremely fresh because I'm cracking them up myself. Now, I like mine to be very big and chunky crunchies of pepper, but since I'm doing it for something that's going to be roasted and could fall off very easily, it doesn't, have, you know, it's not going to hold it very well. I'm going to negotiate between finely ground and cracked. So somewhere in between, a little bit of crack, a little bit of nice ground stuff, and that's what I'm looking for. Now, I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Don't pour it in one spot because, again, it has nooks and crannies of the cauliflower trees, right? And it's going to hold all that pepper in one spot if you just dump it in one spot. So, sprinkling it all around. Of course, I'm going to toss all this in a second. Tonight, I'm using a salt that I think is actually going to stand up to this cauliflower. Cauliflower is a very strong flavored ingredient. It's a sulfurous vegetable. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a salt that has somewhat of a similar sulfurous fragrance and flavor. And this is a Persian blue salt. It comes from, you know, this actually comes from Iraq, I think. Iran, I'm sorry, it comes from Iran. This is Persian blue salt and it has little flecks of blue in it. How cool is that, right? So in it goes, just eyeball to taste, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we're tossing this all around. Make sure that it gets all that olive oil. If it looks like you need a little bit more olive oil, go ahead and add some, because you may very well need to. And I think I might need to. A little bit more olive oil. A little bit more, drizzle it all over. Those trees really soak up the olive oil. Toss that again. Gorgeous. I'm really excited about this. Good stuff, washing my hands. Now this salt, this comes from Drogaria. This is a Drogaria spice grinder. They have salts, they have peppers, they have garlic, they have chili, they have all kinds of cool spices to put in these heavy duty grinders, okay? Now you can find these at qualfirst.com online. I did not get it at my grocer, just so you know where you're going. All right, so next, I have my oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees. 
I have my cookie sheet. I'm gonna put this gorgeous display tray on. It's gonna be displaying its roasting in the oven. It's gonna be nice to look at. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these bad boys with a little bit of nonstick spray. Just so we don't have issues getting things off and sticking later. No big deal. Jip, jip, jip. If you can avoid a problem, do so. Now, we're gonna feed this cauliflower onto the skewers. It has these great tines, and I love how, you know how regular skewers is just one long, skinny, pokey stick. And these guys are kind of like a comb, you got me? And it actually has more tines to hold this good stuff. Look at how it's gonna hold my cauliflower just right, just perfectly like that. How cool is that, right? So I'm gonna alternate sides. One side has the stem, and then the other side has the stem, just so I can make more room here for these guys. Now, some of it might fall through, but just try and get it stuck on a couple of those skewers and you're all good to go. Look at how beautiful this is gonna be. Mom, gorgeous. Wow. Look how oh, pretty. Oh, that's so nice. How cool. Now check it this is. out. You see how I'm roasting it? Going to Look at Cook so even. Yeah, and it's gonna sit here all just like it's sun baking. Yeah. Oven baking. It's gorgeous. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And look how cool these tines are. Isn't that so attractive? A, such a good idea. Like if you were having a barbecue, put that on the table. Yes, ma'am. Then yeah, exactly. You can serve it like this mm -hmm. as a dis as the display. Awesome. It's a conversation piece in itself, guys. Yeah, man. Anyhow, this is super cool. I really like this. They look like little cauliflower Meat clouds trees. of deliciousness. <laughs> now, if you wanted to get really fancy schmancy and, you know, gourmet-ish, you can go ahead and you can um, use the, the olive oil stuff. And then what you can do is you can just dunk the, the tree tops of these in some Parmesan cheese. That would roast up gorgeous. But you might want to do that maybe a little bit later, but it's all good. You can do it now. All right, so this is my last skewer. I'm so excited. You guys have to check these out. Make sure you check out those other recipes. These work really good. Mm -hmm. Didn't you like how we, they did on the barbecue? Oh, they were great. And how they just lay sideways. Mm -hmm. And then you just flip them. It's the coolest thing. This is a great idea. Mutt Shop has some really innovative um, uh, products, eh, Mom? Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. They think differently than the usual mainstream, yeah, and that's why I like out them. Out of the box. Exactly. I don't want to use stuff that doesn't make sense and it just has never worked for forever. Let's try new things that makes more sense, guys. This is a great solution to a lot of problems with skewers. All right, so I'm just sliding that into this great display tray, right? And this is ready to go. I have some little extraneous cauliflower for whatever you give it to the dogs I guess and into my oven it's gonna go I'm gonna let this go for about 30 minutes I'm gonna set the timer for 20 and I'm gonna check on it I don't know if they'll be done I want them to be fork fork tender or knife tender and nicely browned okay and that's what we're looking for so in the oven let's get it go Ooh, it looks nice look at this it looks gorgeous they're starting to brown on the outside. They've been in there for 30 minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take my basting brush with a little bit of olive oil, and I just wanna make sure that those outsides are coated nicely so that everything browns up beautifully. So that's just about a tablespoon. I'm not gonna need all that. I just wanna color them up a little bit. Use it like a paintbrush. Wherever you want them to be brown, that's where you're gonna go ahead and put some more olive oil. Oh man, they look great. Check them out, mommy. This is a really great um, thing to cook with, not just to split. This is really working well. It gives them ample space, ample um, oh, convection. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Look at how nice they're browning up. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope Absolutely. you guys can actually see that. Anyhow, back into my oven they're gonna go for maybe, let's see how knife tender they are. No, it's a giant knife. That's gonna be at least another 20 minutes back in the oven. If you're feeling like they might dry out, go ahead and add about a tablespoon or two of liquid in the bottom of this cookie sheet. They're not actually gonna be sitting in there and just drenched in water, but it's gonna keep them from drying out as well. These cauliflower look awesome. Mommy, look at them. They look fantastic. <clears throat> look at the outsides. Mm. 
Aren't they lovely? Mm -hmm. Okay, where's that knife you gave me? Beautiful. Let's check it out. Oh, they're nice. Let's pull one out and make sure. Take one from the end. This is how we're going to serve it alongside. How nice is that? Right? To you to sell. Would you like a piece? Sure. Love it. Mom's our taste tester this evening. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me try the other side. Mmm. That's lovely. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. It's a nice different way to do it. Mm -hmm. You really get the flavor of the cauliflower. You do, all by itself, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't be mad putting these in a bowl and putting a little bit of butter on them either. Just because I like butter. But you don't have to. It's a nice healthy way to do cauliflower. It's a great way to do them in, in um, midweek even. Or great for a weekend because it looks cool, man. It's cool to serve like that. I, I'm excited about this. Anyhow, I hope you check out this side skewer uh, centerpiece display tray with the tray at Mutt Shop Products. That's MuttShopProducts.com. Again, they have all kinds of cool equipment there that is really new and innovative and works in different ways than we traditionally, but traditionally think. Make sure you check out my other shows this evening. I did roasted carrots in a roasting tray. Beautiful stuff. Check out that show. As well as meatballs and gravy. How to cook meatballs and gravy. And I'm about to serve all that up and we're about to eat it and we are starving, right? So make sure you check that out. I hope you try this really new recipe for cauliflower. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and my site is cooking with Kimberly.com. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Bye mom. Bye. <laughs> Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.